welcome to my channel Chiam Tech TV. I am Chiama and today we will continue to learn coding. So excited. I made a little changes this time. Remember from my last video, I asked you guys to let me know what else you'd like me to teach. And a good number of my friends recommended that I teach Keep On Dancing and I'll do exactly that. I'll be using different dances and different characters this time. Not to worry at all, all coding exercises have a common denominator. F watch the video, read the instructions, and do exactly what it says. But guys, before we start, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, click the notification button so that I never miss a video because I'm going to be posting a lot. Please, please, please just click that red subscribe button. I really need your support. So without further ado, let's get started. We will continue to use Hour of Code or Code.org to learn coding. Remember, it is an easy to understand method and I hope you like it. So grab your computer and have fun with me, step by step. Remember, the best way to learn is by doing, practice makes perfect, they say. By the end of this video, each and every one of you should be able to code, no matter how small. Coding activates your brain and lets you have fun at the same time. I'll be sharing my screen right now, so without wasting your time, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. Okay, so just like in my other videos, we will start off by entering your browser and typing in Hour of Code. Once you're done with that, it should take you to the home page where you see all these links. Click on the first one you see, and it should take you to this website right here. Just click Try It. Once you click try it, it should take you to their home of activities. We're going to be using, um, we're going to be using Dance Party. So we're going to click Dance Party, and then I'm going to click Start. Now today, because we're doing Keep On Dancing, we're going to click Start Part 2. Once you click that, it should take you to all these extras. You're going to click, because as you can see, we're already on number one. We're going to click back and forth, because that is our first activity. And it should take you to puzzle one, even though it calls a puzzle number two. It's puzzle number one. Now, click, now enter your age, and we should be getting started. Now that you've entered your age, let's read the instructions. Back and forth. Sometimes you might want to create a pattern of dance moves you choose. This new block lets you do just that. All alternate between two measures between body roll and club high. This move lets you repeat a sequence forever. So they did some of the work for us. They already made all the background dancers. But I'm going to change some unicorns. I'm going to change these two pineapples because they look so cute. And ducks. Yeah, I can leave that. Ducks. And in the middle is going to be a unicorn because I like having unicorns in the middle. And now, they already put down two of the blocks for us, but I want to put one more for the unicorn in the middle. So instead of all, I'm going to change this to unicorn. I'm going to change this to star, and then I'm going to change this to fresh. Now, I don't want to change anything else except this. I want this to be Gamnam, and this, I want this to be this or that. And now, we're going to press start. Once you press start, remember, you should be hearing some music, and you'll be seeing on my screen that these things are dancing. Okay, guys, so it's, start, it's time to press run. As you can see, I moved my webcam so you guys will be able to be hearing, I mean, seeing the people. Now, th let's press run in three, two, one. As you can see, you are hearing music, and these things are dancing. Now, just wait, and now they're just going to be dancing. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. And look, the ducks are dancing, the unicorns are dancing. I just love it. And then once you're done, just press finish. And it should take you on to number three. But it's actually number two. It gets kind of confusing, but it's not that. That's too hard. Okay, so now it's time for number two or number three. And this one says more buttons. This dance lets you control the dancer's properties in real time while they dance automatically. Try making other properties change when you press buttons. For example, and they did the example. So like when up is pressed, then they randomize size. When left is pressed, they change frog's rotation. And when right is pressed, they change frog's rotation, the minus. So um, right now, I'm going to press run and see what they already did for us and what I want to change. So let's press run in three, two, one. As you can 
see, they already made a slot for us, they already made some frogs for us, and now they're dancing. As you can see, they're dancing. I'm gonna click up and see what it does. Oh, it just randomizes right the size. When I click left or right, um, it changes their moves. So basically, it's making them turn both sides. Oh, this is cool. Um, I don't really want to change anything, so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Now let's press finish and move on to number four or three. You guys can call it either one. It's kind of confusing. Okay, once you get onto this stage, remember they're doing a little bit of the work for us. Okay, so let's read the instructions. Let's get information. Check out this dance that used the layout moose as a blank block to change the backup dancers through formation. Try one of these ideas to extend it. Now we're going to do exactly that. As you can see, they already did some of the work for us. They already used the layout moose as blank block. They created 12 mooses in a circle. Now, you, as you know, I want one dancer to be in the middle. So I'm going to take this make new cat at center block. And I'm going to change it to a unicorn because I love unicorns. And then, once I'm done with that, I'm going to move this other block so I can be seeing everything. Oh, I can't move it, so I'm going to remove this block. Now, if they already did one dance for the moose, I'm going to put another dance for the um, cat in the middle. Or, well, not cat, but you know what I mean. The unicorn. And I'm going to change this to unicorn. I'm going to change this to random. And I'm going to change the other one to random because I just love randoms. Okay, and now they did some of the work for us. So after two measures, the moose will go into a grid. After four, the moose will go into crisscross. After six, the moose will go into a border. And after eight, the moose will go to random. Now, before we just run, I want to show you guys the code that we've done for this one. This is what actual code looks like. Like, this is actual code. And that's what we just made, guys. I know you guys should be happy. I'm happy. So without further ado, let's press run okay so let's press run in three two one as you can see that there is a unicorn at the top because i put it at the top and there are muscles in the circle but they change every single time which is really nice also they're dancing around the room which i really like oh uh, this is so much fun i hope you guys are doing as much fun as i am oh this is so great as you can see that there are also some effects. Anyways, let's press finish now. And move on to number 5 or 4. Remember, it's a little bit confusing, so you can call it 5, you can call it 4. Anyways, let's move on to number 5. Okay, so now the instructions are, where'd they go? This dance shows and hides two different groups of dancers. Check it out and try adding their own flair. Okay, so in this step, basically, you can make people invisible or uninvisible. Let me show you what I mean. So as you can see in the code, it says, after four measures, set cat's visibility to invisible. Now that means you won't be able to see the cats after four measures, but don't worry because after six measures, the cats are visible and the dogs are invisible. And then basically they do that and then they lay out all in a circle after eight measures. And now, so as you can see, they made nine cats in the border, which is basically a square, and then nine dogs inside of the border, which is a square. And then I'll do this or that forever. So without further ado, let's press run, guys. Okay, guys. So let's press run in three, two, one. As you can see, they are all doing this or that. And the dogs are inside of the square. And then the cats are in a square. And now they're visible. Oh my God, they're visible. Oh, this is so good. Oh, now the dogs are invisible. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, I just love this. I love it. I love it. Anyways, let's press finish now. Once you press finish, it should take you to number six. Ooh, I'm so excited. I love coding. I hope you guys love coding. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get on to it. Dance Cruise. Here's a dance-off between two crews. The arrow keys control one of the dancers, and WASD controls the other. 
Have fun with the dance off with a friend and try to improve in this dance off. Oh, this is nice! Okay, so make 10 new robots in a random. Make 10 new shots in a random. Oh, I'm already liking this! Set all sides to 25. That's good. Lay out all in a circle. Make a bear in, at the left and a moose at the right. Now, I don't want all of the sides to be at 25. I only want some of them. So, I'm going to make the robots and the sharks 25. So, as soon as I find robots, I'm going to make them 25. Then, I'm going to go to properties. I am going to change their layout. I need their size. Why am I saying these wrong? So set all size. I don't want all size. Set uh, the sharks. Where are sharks? Um, okay, here are sharks. Shark size 2. And then I'm going to click on that and move it to 25. Then, as you can see, there's a move on the left and move on the right. Oh, this is so good. As you can see, they already did the rest of the work for us. So now we are going to press run in 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh! So W A S D. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and then right, left. Oh my gosh! This is so cool. W A S D. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love it! I love it so much, guys! This is so fun! <laughs> I love the random turn into a circle. I like that. I like that really much. Anyways, let's press finish and move on to number seven. Let's press finish and let's go. Continue. <laughs> I'm having so much fun right now. Please remember to hit that like button and smack that subscribe button. Quarter notes. Most of our dancers have used whole measures, but in this, each measure is made up of four quarter notes. This dance uses if current time and measures blank five dancers to clap on each quarter note, but not every four first four measures. Try changing the numbers of the block. Okay, so this is weird. I don't think I've seen a block like this before. So let's do this together. Okay, so if current time and measures is a quarter five, robots do clap high ones and they do clap high ones. Well, I'm going to change the frogs to do frogs, and I'm going to make the robots do fresh. And I think that just looked funny. Oh, I just saw heads and hips. I make the robots do heads and hips and see what that looks like. Heads and hips. And then um, I just got to press rock and see what that looks like. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Okay, so that looks kind of nice. <laughs> okay, so every quarter. So... So, um, every quarter in the measure is going to do a dance, like it's going to start over the dance. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I can't believe I haven't noticed this block before. Like, it's so cool. Anyways, let us go press finish and let's move on to number eight. We are almost done, guys. Almost done. Number nine is the last one. So let's get to it. Just press finish and then press continue. Remember, you can wait and change the song in the corner. I'm having so much fun, guys. Like, I just love coding so much. The instructions are bass, mid, and treble. This dance uses peak events to trigger code when every part gets loud. Try tinkering with the songs. See how they change the dance. Okay, so let's see what this song, what they do. So basically, they, in the setup, they put set effect to light and rainbow. And then they made a bear at the top left, a robot in the top right, and a cat in the bottom. That sounds nice. Repeat every two measures. I'll do next forever. Well, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to change it to random because I love it. Okay, one base peak. Ooh, I haven't seen this one before. When base peak, bears do random once. Randomize all bear size. When mid peak, cats do random once. Well, yeah, once. And randomize a cat's vertical position. When treble peak, robots do random once. And randomize robots tint. Oh my gosh. You guys, you have to try this out. Remember to at home to change the songs. Just click select song. Change the song to any song you want because this works with any song in this coding.org. Okay, so let's get to it and let's press run in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, so let's see what they do. Oh my gosh, so whenever the sound gets louder or smaller or just at middle, 
Then they just do this. Oh my god, so I just love it. I just I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so weird. It's so weird. I, do, I just can't. I just can't. I'm gonna press reset and then I'm gonna press finish. Let's move on to the finale. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so much fun. I love doing coding with you guys. Please remember it in the comments to tell me what else you'd like me to teach. Okay, so we're on number nine. Okay, speed it up or slow it down. This final dance uses set sharp speed to fast block to control how fast each dancer moves. Try experimenting with different speeds during points in the song. Feel free to keep tinkering with this dance or return any previous dances to make them cooler. Okay, so now that we've gone to number nine, you could do anything in the other dances, and I'm pretty sure the songs go as long as you want. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Let's do this! Okay, so set check speed to dance fast. I'm not gonna put that until after about like two measures to see what his speed is at right now. So two measures. I'm going to take this set shark speed to, are there any other speeds? Oh, very fast, and then after, after like four measures, I'm going to set shark speed to slow and see what it is. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. So set all speeds to, I'm not going to set, oh, I'm only going to set the pineapples, pineapples to slow. And now, let's press Y and see what they do! Oh my gosh, guys, this is the last one. I'm so excited. Three, two, one, go! Oh my gosh! Okay, so right now he's going slow. As you can see, they're going slow. And then, look! Okay, so now the shark is going faster. And now he's going to go super s Oh my gosh! He's so fast! He's so fast! He's so fast! <laughs> um... I just can't handle this fun right now. I just, it's so much fun. Oh my gosh, guys, so much fun. But now let me see what I show you once you are finished with everything. I did not show you this last time, and I'm sorry for that. But today I'm going to show you. So once you press finish, it should take you to this page. Press finish. And then look what you get. You get your very own certificate. Oh my gosh. All I need to do is write your name. I'm going to type in my name. I'm going to type in my name. Oops, I, <laughs> I spelled it wrong. Okay, so let's type in my name. Submit. And now it's going to say certificate of Kalike is awarded to Chioma for successfully completion of our code. You guys can print out the certificate for yourself at your own printer. Oh my gosh, guys. You guys just make me so happy to teach. Remember to hit that like button and smack that subscribe button if you want more videos. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.